What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another regular Anime Guys Attack on Titan review discussion for episode 73 and 74. Now, you may be asking yourself, Mike, this looks a lot different than what we normally, than what we're used to. Where is everybody? Where's the group? Where are the guys? Where's the squad? Where are your devils from Paradise Island? Don't worry. They're all with me. Uh, this is just a, uh, a separate intro recording that we had to do because of how we watched the episodes on uh, Sunday. If you didn't know, every Sunday uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have been getting together to watch and discuss that week's episode of Attack on Titan. Um, that Last week, however, we did have two episodes to watch, like I said, 73 and 74. This is a mashup of the two of them. So we took uh, we watched the episode. Then we, did, then we talked about the episode. Then we watched the next episode, talked about that episode. What I did was I just combined the two together. Um, and instead of recording the intro during uh, our live watch along, like I normally do, um, I went ahead and just recorded the intro afterwards. Uh, so Quad and Nesto are both here to talk with us about... 70 episodes 73 and 74 as i said before this is a full review discussion of episode 69 so we will be in full spoiler mode so just keep that in mind however we are anime only watchers so no future spoilers in the comments down below from the manga um and either the uh youtube chat comments or wherever you're listening to this because we are also on podcast services around the globe but wherever you see this definitely leave a follow leave a like on the channel it really helps us out a whole lot but without further ado I'm going to kick it off to Past Mike, Quad, and Nesto, so that way they can talk about episodes 73 and 74 of Attack on Titan. My mans came in, like, my mans came in on some Batman type shit. Like, you said, snuck oh, in. You thought, you thought that I wasn't going to kill these people because they're Titans? You, you thought I was going to kill them. Now, What's crazy Whoa. is he just needed a few seconds to kind of get himself level headed and like, like, all right, bro, all right, this is what we gotta do. Like, this just is what it is. Oh, he's are y'all somewhere in here? He was like, what? They uh, behind, he behind me. He low key, low key. I really wish we could have seen him kill all thirty of those titans. Nigga, bro. Cause like that shit. Cause like this scene right here, this part right here, like was just so fucking that's wild to me. Saw? Is that what you saw? He said what? Was that the still that you saw? This this wasn't the still that I saw. No, the still that I saw was him was him falling from like the uh the treetops. Hoo hoo! He was like branches. He couldn't even get him. He was Bro. Like, Bro, the only thing I saw was the only thing I saw was him holding up the wine bottle. So I saw. I, I didn't know if they were going to show that this episode. So yes, I didn't want to say the two stills that I saw was um, the still where Mikasa was sitting there and she was in shock, and under it says like uh, Mikasa, I hated you the most. And so I was like, oh shit. Oh Aaron God. told her that. Like that's yeah. That whole scene was that that there was a lot to break down in that scene. It hurt my feelings, but I did like that. I did like that that happened. And also like when I said that somebody was getting a headache, like right when they flashed back to him. Yeah. He like he like grabbed his head. Levi did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Oh and shit. Was, like, yeah. I didn't even put that together. Wait, what was yeah, that I, for again? For the Ackerman, like they the Founding Titan when you see like the Founding Titan getting like attacked or whatever, like it awakes something in the Ackerman and makes them want to protect, protect. yeah which king. is what which is what aaron was getting which which is what aaron was getting to i'm starting to think more and more that maybe uh maybe what i was uh maybe what i was saying at the beginning of the season might be might be coming true and i think that aaron uh is aaron sees and has or is able to like see the memories and stuff of the uh of the king and mm -hmm. unlike because he's not actual royal blood he's actually right. able to break away from the mind control that the king puts you under and is able to but just see what's going on anyway. and move forward. Did they say that when they said that? Yeah, no. Yeah, <sighs> yeah in that season. season. In this episode, and it's like, that's what I was saying, like, for this season. Like, I think well, something happens it. where Aaron was able to, like, see the future or, like, see some kind of memories. But they, okay, so, yeah, they, they've they always been able to see memories. Yeah. But in the season where Historia was about to take it, they were like, yeah, anytime the Founding Titan um, is passed down to royal blood, then they just get, my, like, they just they get, get brainwashed. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. With, yeah, but with Aaron having the Founding Titan, he's able to, like, break away from it. That's basically what that whole, like, message was at okay. the end. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, but okay. I always, I mean, I just. Wait, 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 did I miss it? I don't. I don't no, I haven't, I haven't played it yet. Like I, stopped it. Like, oh, okay. I, I think it. I think Aaron sees the future. Like it's not necessarily like the past type stuff. Bro, gotta, I like, swear again, I don't think I've said it before, but you have to remember with the uh, damn 
the other Aaron. That guy, one, yeah. Yeah, when he's just like, we got to do this for Mikasa and Armin. Like I said, like I think, I think Aaron sees the future. So I think he's doing all this stuff on purpose. Hmm. And then like what we learned in this episode, I think like reinforces it in a sense as far as like their memories and stuff. So. All right, Quad, here you go. I got, I got you. And what I didn't see on the first time viewing this was like I in the back corner, like bro getting his head Weird. sliced on the uh oh this dude oh. yeah like you see you see my man's in the back like he's sitting there like he just creeped in Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i got so hyped i literally was screaming oh, my man. <laughs> oh man so when Le so when levi gets the headache what is he trying to fight like who's he trying to fight to protect if that makes sense well, so remember, that what it remember is, like, Mikasa. So Mikasa jumped, or when uh, Armin jumped to attack Aaron, Mikasa jumped and grabbed him. Yeah, like she jumped and she jumped and grabbed him, and that that headache that uh, that Levi got was the same headache or was the same instincts that Mikasa had to protect Aaron. And then it's like he's been like, "Oh yeah, I've been protecting Aaron this whole time." Yeah, blah, blah. like even in that last episode, he was like, "We've been protecting him the whole time," like, and he didn't understand why. I guess oh, so, like in oh, that. Oh, so they all they all share it. Like it's yeah, it's all yeah. It's not just yeah. not just me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yo, Chris, we love we love Levi a thousand times, a thousand percent more. <laughs> like I didn't think there was I didn't think there was like a, an opera. Like I didn't think they were going to be able to top how he came through and took down the Beast Titan the first time. And like all expectations were like just thrown out the completely thrown out the window. When the, when this uh, or it, and not not, not the one excuse me were uh exceeded exceeded all expectations were exceeded during this fight, the fact that my man's was cutting off branches to confuse him to make him think that he was everywhere else. This shit is just I can't I literally it's, I was like fuck like, <laughs> and then it just comes from like, the sky <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck. So. I don't, I, you know what? Just fuck it. it. Fuck it. This is what we're going to do. Like I said, we're just going to, we'll, we'll just split it between the, we'll split it between the two. And I don't know if, should I, intro, I feel like I should, I feel like I might just do a side intro. Yeah, just do it, dude. Well, no, I'm saying, Maybe I'm, 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 I'm going like, to do a, a different, like a side intro, like after the, after the fact. Oh, okay. Yeah, put it in the front. yeah, yeah just put it in okay. the front. Yeah, uh, that's just, what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, we're just going to talk about this episode first because there was just so much, there was so much going on in this episode that if we watch another one, I'm not going to remember everything that happened. Um, okay. This 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 shit. This is episode seventy three might be my favorite episode. There was right yeah, yeah, as of right now, I think I, I think so because we got so much information from this episode, and yeah, so much information, so much stuff happened. Like it was just, it was a perfect. In my opinion, it was a perfect episode. This is this is Attack on Titan at its best right here. Mm -hmm. In my in my personal okay. opinion, um, what are y'all's thoughts? Let me. I'll let y'all. I'll let y'all go. I'll let y'all go. Are you gonna do uh, the intro or? No, I'll do the intro. I'm gonna insert it later. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do one off to the side and then I'll um like I did with the originals. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So one, this episode hurt my feelings in the beginning. He oh, whooped yeah. Armin's ass. Wow. Bro. <laughs> he and he didn't. It's like it's like he didn't even care about his friends, which I thought was really weird. Yeah. Like I always hated you, but it's like I mean I feel like if anything. Aaron, like, first of all, I'd be like, first of all, you a whole bitch. First of all, like, don't say you hated me. You hated on me because I knew how to fight, and your ass was getting your ass whooped all the goddamn time. Yeah, I would have got. <laughs> would have been real Hot. defensive. Yeah. But, <laughs> first of all, nigga, you would have been dead <laughs> if it wasn't for me. Two. Wait. Okay. Falco didn't turn into a titan, so I thought that was nice. So that the was dude something. Getting his ass beat. That was something that I uh, that I noticed that I thought was pretty interesting in this episode because uh, I, I said it when I, we were, as we were watching or whatever. I always mm -hmm. thought I don't know why I always assumed that like the scream had like a certain distance, like you had That's to be in like. you had to be in like within a certain distance in order for it to like affect you in any kind of way, whether that's like Ooh. the electricity shocking you or um, you turning into a titan. I mean, they okay, so that makes yeah. Go ahead. That makes sense then because none of the other people turned into the people that were furthest away. They didn't, they just felt weird, but they didn't actually turn into Titans. Yeah. But that reminded me of the first episode because the first episode, I thought that they were just, um, you know, when Zeke is in the plane or whatever and he's 
turning people. It, it looks like he's turning people into titans, yeah. but really they're just putting his spinal fluid in. And then when they push him down, that's when he did the yell, and they all turned turn into the titans. titans. Yep. Which I didn't notice, like in the. I just thought that it was like a you know, like the one from whatever season two. Yeah. Yeah, like I thought it was just like that, where you just automatically turn into a titan. I didn't know that that was his spinal fluid. Because they were putting it but, to his, yeah, yeah, putting it to his yeah. back. And I realized that I want to say like the other day. Just thinking about it. Yeah. What else happened? Because you were talking Did about Brogan. Like yeah, they broke it and beat up. Uh, Levi, we already spoke about that. Love him. <laughs> Love that. Love everything about that. Yeah, every, all of it. <laughs> all of it, top to bottom. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> top to bottom, just love uh, it all. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't. I don't know. What is gonna happen next episode? Oh, we didn't watch the preview, did we? No, we didn't watch the preview. We're going completely okay. blind. I wanna I wanna go we'll go into 70, 74 completely blind. Like we won't we won't watch any of it. We'll just go in there just completely blind and watch it. Alright, so Quad wrapped up her thoughts. Nesta, what are your thoughts this episode 74? 73. Um excuse me. I'm just like really wrapped into like my memory theory. So like I do like when Aaron was talking to Armin and he said like you have all of his memories uh, since you ate him. Uh, yeah. Bear, Bear Holt, Bear Holt or whatever. Bertolt. So, yeah. yeah. I thought that was like, I thought that was very interesting. I think, I really think Aaron saw something and that's like the reason why he's acting the way he is. Cause I feel like it's such a dramatic character change for him. Yeah. You know, to be acting like this, to be beating up his best friend. I think he's trying to stop something from happening. I think in like, the future he did see um something happens to Armin and Mikasa where they die. And so he's just I don't know. I, I he's he's doing this to protect them and they just don't see it yet. Yeah. Um Damn, there was something else that happened that was really cool. I uh, do I did think it was funny because I thought like the next time Levi and uh, Zeke fought that it was gonna be like an even matchup, but no, not Levi even close. Not yeah. even <laughs> fucking like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it was actually kind of worse than the first time. <laughs> and I just think that shit is so funny. Um, oh man! I don't know, man. It's just, it's just fucking nuts, dude. This show's so good. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we learned like way too much. I think there's stuff. You know, there was something that happened this season. Zeke, Zeke tells somebody. I think he tells. I forget who he talks to, but he talks something about like the truth. Yeah. But no, it was. Uh, it wasn't Zeke. It was. Uh, oh damn! Flock. What's it? Hans. Oh, Hans. Hans. Yeah. Han says something about the truth or like saying part of it. Well, that was Yelena. Yeah, yeah, that was that was uh that was Pixie's talking Yelena to Yelena. And Pixie. Yeah, yeah, they were talking to each oh, other. Okay, okay, okay. How like you tell a good, I, how do you tell a good lie? You sprinkle a little bit of truth in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I think that's what like uh damn Levi finds out when he's just like I thought it was only like this was the only way it would happen, and he like figures out it was kind of like a lie, and it just like. And this show's, like, really good with that kind of stuff, at least for me, because it's, like, it makes me, like, nitpick at, like, the littlest things to see if it's a clue yeah. or something else. But, no, other than that, I thought it was, like, a good episode. I did think it was interesting with the, uh, with Mikasa and, like, her clan. Yeah. To see what, like, what was so special about them. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, like, her and Levi are just, like... They go too hard for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. Like, they're just, they're like on site, like, you know, they don't even think about it. They just do it. And to see it, like, and I think they express that well when Armin tries to hit Aaron, where she's just like, without even thinking to about it. They didn't even realize like, what she oh, did fuck. until after it happened. Yeah. Ooh. So I, that, oh, I'm, I'm done, by the way. So you can go ahead, Quad. You know that, oh, God, what's his name? Kenny the Ripper? Yeah. And how yes. he was so close to the founding titan. Yeah. So that probably was the same type of thing. Like, he wanted to protect the founding titan because he was an Ackerman as well. Yeah. That's why he was yeah. so, that's why, that's why oh. they were such good friends. Mm hmm Yep. I'm like, oh, I just, I like it. And so, it's like, oh, yeah, all that makes sense. Yeah. And so what, so the turning point for, because I haven't, like, when I started rewatching the show, I watched it, like, right when Aaron got a in. So... With Mikasa, mm -hmm. like, what was the turning point for her that Aaron was talking about when he first meets her? And he tells her, I don't remember that when he's like, I told you to attack. So there's two, and there's, there, I think there's two moments for Mikasa with, with something like that. And the, the first time is, the first time is when they were kids in the cabin 
and he tells her to like fight, like fight back. That's when she like you know awakens and starts going, you know, starts going hard or whatever against the guy mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, and the, I think that second one is when, or another moment that you, know, you you can also use was season one after she thought Aaron had been eaten, and in mm-hmm. her head, all she constantly hears is Aaron saying fight, fight fight and you know even without thinking about it she's like you know dodging titans and you know trying to fight titans and then when her gas runs out she falls to the ground and she gets ready to go you know go back to go toe to toe to toe with him again uh with whatever titan was there and then aaron shows up and you know saves her you know saves the day that's when we find out about you know the attack titan and everything um so is it like is it only if you're a titan or a founding titan she has like uh, that implant yeah, I, yeah, that's what that's what Aaron made it sound like. Is that it's the founding titan? Yeah. It's the connection between the founding titan and the Ackermans that okay. is is and why since, she's the way she is. Yeah, and since Aaron at that time did have the founding titan, right? Because his dad ate it. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He did. Yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. All right, just making sure I'm following along. No, no, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the implant. Yeah, <laughs> like stabbing people with. Well, no, no, just, I mean, I wouldn't be about, surprised if it was a game. Yeah, think about uh, yeah. what's that movie, Twilight or whatever, when the werewolf dude like uh, implanted, imprint. imprinted, on the, yeah, yeah. In, imprinted. imprinted. Did I say implant? Yeah. That's yeah. what dogs do. <laughs> 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 yeah, this was a. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I said at the top of this, like, I, I, I think this episode, uh, this episode is when. Attack on Titan is at its best. Um, it gives us it gives us more information for more world building, and then it also gives us the action the 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 big action set pieces that you know we love to watch and you know love to you know love to like just gush over. Um, because that, just like what makes sorry my bad. My go, no, go ahead. No, I'm just saying like again, what makes this show so good is that like like you're saying like the like they give you information for the world world building. Yeah, but you don't even make that connection till like the next season. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't understand the importance of, like, uh, Bertholdt and, uh, damn, what's his name? Uh, Reiner. Reiner. Yeah, Reiner, like, in that castle. You don't really understand what they're talking about until the next season. And, like, you have to go back when he's talking to, when Bertholdt tells Reiner, you're a soldier. Like, he's not saying you're a soldier for, like, the the islands. Like, you're a soldier Mm -hmm. as a titan. Like, you have to remember that stuff. Like, it's just so crazy how they do this kind of shit. Yeah. They play the it's long game, dog. We're, we're, they're out here playing chess. We're all playing checkers, dog. Like we we think we we think we're onto it, and like all of a sudden we're you know we're not even close to being onto it or whatever. I did think it was funny yeah, as a yeah. bitch when uh, leave the scene right here where Levi turns around and Zeke is just like running, like trying to book it. I thought that shit was just so funny. I thought he was gonna try to slice him up then. That's what I thought. Um, what was that uh, wait, can we see? Can we see what uh, what's his name said? What's his name? Zeke. What he said when he was like, "That was your biggest downfall, Levi." Like oh, yeah, right yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. What was that was promise, exactly by the way, that he um, he gives old dude? Oh, he told him that he's gonna kill him. Yeah, okay, yeah he promised. He promised Irwin that he was gonna kill him. Uh, he was gonna kill him before, uh, or kill him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fuck he, was was he was gonna kill him. He was that's all. Didn't like, by the way, with that animation of the beast titan when he's like looking around. I thought that was kind of weird. Okay. But I mean, yeah. it's kind of like they did this entire season, though. Well, I thought it, I thought he looked kind of weird too, and I just was like, "Oh, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it was so close up." Yeah. That I just look. I think I this is it cool. right here, quad. That's because we're sitting in it upside down. Farewell. Man. Yeah. In the end, we couldn't trust one another. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's throw this one soon. Oh, Fall apart. Just... And the way the Titans be running, I be forgetting how like serious this shit is sometimes. Like, yeah. like this motherfucker running. <laughs> how dorky <laughs> they look. <laughs> yeah, dude, this shit is so funny. Because where is he running to? He's running to. Uh, like, where, 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 I think oh, to meet Aaron. Yeah, they're gonna oh, meet yeah, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. That was another thing yeah. for me. I didn't. That's what I didn't understand. Because he said I know like, where you're supposed to be. Aaron was trying to find Zeke, but Zeke is like, "Hey, uh, maybe Aaron just forgot." So, so like, this, say, like, this is the moment hey, right I'm here, like, and this is this is one thing that I don't like. That just not not just Attack on Titan. This is one thing that I don't like that shows do sometimes, where they'll like like major plot points will happen off screen, and like this yeah. is a pretty big deal right here for them to have talked uh, during uh, or for them to have talked and like we not to see that De- like during Aaron's time over in uh, Marley, and I'm like ah all right cool. That, I mean I feel like they could have they could have done that a little bit better, but. I mean, because when he said, because when Aaron is talking to them at the table, he's like, yeah, me and Zeke met up at uh, 
Libero or Liberio, however the hell you pronounce it. Um, we met there and we oh, talked wow. there, and you know, that's when we that's when we discussed everything. That's when we came to came to terms with everything. I was like, all right, I'm that's just confused. A little strange. On, I'm just confused on why Aaron didn't know where Zeke was if he was supposed to meet him somewhere because that's where Zeke was trying to go. I forgot. He, it, he wouldn't have known where he was, but it's like if you knew where we were meeting, then what is this for? That's like what, just that's wait, wait about. at the rendezvous point. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the only thing that didn't make sense to me. So, I mean, Zeke does say like, if Aaron for I think he says like, um, Aaron, I hope you remember. So maybe Aaron did mm-hmm. forget, but I don't think because all this shit seems so like planned out. I don't think he forgot. So I think there's a reason for that too. I may just be paranoid. But... No, I mean it is it is weird that because they were because I mean I was thinking somewhat of the same thing like during this whole thing. It's like if Aaron knew where he was gonna be, then why are we stressing over having them confess where Zeke is? Unless it's unless it's them trying to prove a point that they're on their side, mm, you know possibly. what I mean. Something, but I mean they already had them beat that guy's ass. Well, I think it's more of like the the MP, leadership. yeah, the leadership having the leadership on their side. They beat the, they beat the shit out of him. They beat the yeah, shit your, out of bro. I don't need your help for them. You sure, dude? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> a few minutes said otherwise. <laughs> a few minutes later said otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I will say the one thing, the other thing about this episode, uh, the one thing from this episode that uh, I was shocked to, to be feeling after it was the fact that I don't really fuck with Aaron like that. Yeah, no. Nah, I don't know if I fuck with Aaron like that anymore. Like, you know, it's he made Mikasa cry. Fuck yeah, you. dude. It's like it's cool that he's. I mean, it's cool that he's so different. You know that he's that he is more mature. You know, quote unquote, more mature. Um, and he is kind of like seeming. It is seeming like he is the leader of this whole like idea or this whole you know thought process or whatever or this whole plan. Right. Um, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we had that flashback to when he was talking to a couple episodes ago where they were talking about they were riding the train. And he's like, I don't want any of y'all to turn into Titans. You know, y'all are my friends. Like, I care about y'all. Like, I don't want y'all to I don't want y'all to do this. And now for him to be acting the way that he's acting, you know, Nessa, you you might be onto something as far as like he's he knows something in the future is going to happen. And he's doing this to protect everybody or whatever. But I just don't yeah. like I don't know if the ends justify the means. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. And that's I don't know. It's just it was just yeah, weird. Yeah, because it's like yeah, you can protect your friends. Like if if you were trying to do that for us, but you were being like a dick the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like now I don't even yeah. care. Yeah, now I don't <laughs> even now I go. Not. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I was. Your whole life, her whole life is revolved around you, and you just told her that she was a slave and you hated her. Yeah. Like what? Oh my god! Could you imagine? But you know, sprinkling. You know, Nessa talking about sprinkling stuff in. They they did do a really good job of because if you remember, um, at least sprinkling that that hate thing because Aaron and you know I think Quad you said it, you you talked to this when you were talking about how you you know felt about the episode about uh, Aaron. It wasn't so much Aaron hating her as much as it was him hating hating on her for being so good at what she was doing. Um, and you know they they do a good job of sprinkling. As I said, they, they, I think they did a pretty good job of sprinkling that in, and then having you know having it come back full circle where Aaron's just like you know that's why I hate, hated you the most. Or I don't know, that shit was just intense. That was intense. <laughs> like I said, I saw the I saw the I saw the still, but like actually watching the scene, I was like, damn, dude, like you got to be like that. <laughs> and you yeah. just monotone with it too. You just, yeah. You just don't even care. You breaking my heart. I know. <laughs> I know, dog. Just over here crying, yeah, and then no. he just said, right. "Armin, Armin launched launched over the table, and he was like, the bro, he didn't move. Hold he on, he hold didn't on. move. Uh oh, oh, somebody in trouble. Shrug. No clue why it's happening. Eye roll. <laughs> Chris is funny." <laughs> But yeah, no, he didn't like. Then when Armin, you know, goes into attack, like he doesn't. He just sits there. He knows Mikasa's gonna protect him. He just sits there. Let's it happen. Like, all I gotta do is think. Yeah, bro. And you just do it. You go do it for me. That shit is wild. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's. I feel like there's other things here. Hold on. Oh, that's what something that I wanted to ask you guys. Do you think? Because wasn't it uh, at least the Warhammer Titan? I know the Warhammer Titan has the ability to transfer where her consciousness is. The Armor Titan has that ability also. And as long as the Armor Titan transfers where the consciousness is, um, you can't kill it. You know what I mean? Uh So you remember after Zeke, after they fight, where is it at? Right here, he blows up. (laughs) He fucked this dude up. That shit is so (laughs) crazy, bro. 
We do love to see it. He fucked that dude up. So he's laying out out here, and then it goes forward. But there's a piece of like, there's a piece of meat that's sitting on oh. the ground. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That. Wait, go back, go back, go back, because I was. Just... A piece of meat? Is no, it? it's not here. It's not here yet. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> I love that. That's just uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like. So um, right here, here it comes. So he's dragging him away. Right it. And it's right here. Right there. Yeah, that little piece of oh, it, it starts. Moved. It starts beating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> did he maybe move his heart or his, or not his consciousness at least, but his heart up to that point? And you know, even but then if, how would he be alive over there? I have no idea. I, I mean, I don't know how the I don't know how the consciousness stuff works. We've only seen the only thing that we've ever seen as far as like consciousness transferring was Reiner. Uh, was Reiner? Yeah, it was when Reiner did it, and they were at the end of season three, and all he did was transfer it to a different location inside the body when he yeah. uh, got exp you know when he was getting uh, blown up or whatever. Um, so I mean, it's po it may be possible that they're able to do like move it outside, like move it outside the body um, like, within a certain amount of time. And that, and that could be why he's like maybe Zeke's not entirely there, which is why he asks about the glasses, like where where are my glasses or whatever. <laughs> yeah. What the so. Where are my glasses? He's like, boy, you don't bro, even be like, somebody to work for you. Might be onto something too, because that was kind of weird. Yeah, like, like, bro, you might. Yeah. Bro, you, just, <laughs> bro, you get. Bro, you just get your ass for us. Just wear glasses for us. Bro, you're not, you're not reading to kill a mockingbird anymore. <laughs> like, we're, not, we're not chilling in the forest. <laughs> That's funny. That shit was wild. Yeah, there was a lot going on in this episode. Um, we're going to continue uh, our watch along and everything and jump into episode 74. Um, this is going to be a, I said at the top of the, uh, in the intro, this is a mashup of episode 73 and 74. There was just a lot going on between these two episodes um, that I decided to just... Uh, put them together um any final thoughts on this episode before we jump into it to the new one i'm straight straight quiet no all right Body cool <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> through the power of editing we will be into the next review well well hmm. well I didn't I'm, know, get, I didn't I'm, I'm just getting pissed off because like it's not fair well <laughs> If this shit don't come out next week, I don't. <laughs> if the yeah. movie don't come out the next following fucking week, I'm not for it. hundred percent facts. A hundred percent facts. I'm, I'm fucking. A hundred percent facts. As soon as I saw how cry. this episode, as soon as I saw how this episode started, I was like, "You got to be fucking kidding me, dude!" Like, oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> up, I don't give a fuck about Zeke's childhood, like his dad not loving him. Like, well, I don't. At the care. same time, like he's a terrible dad. Oh, like, his, dad his dad was horrible. Dad his dad was horrible. Both kids. Yeah. Just all around. Oh, yeah, some people, you know, some people just shouldn't be parents. He, he's one of those people. Yeah. He's one of those people. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. Nah. Yeah. This was um. It, baby. Mike, do you have to do any kind of intro or? No, we're just gonna go straight into. Like I said, I'm, I'll do the intro. Um, I'll do the intro later. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're uh, yeah, but no, no, no we're just, just talking about episode episode. Just talking about episode seventy five and um, or seventy four. Excuse me. Um, yeah, go ahead, Nessa. What are your thoughts? Think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um. I guess we do know Zeke's plan. Zeke yeah. is trying to get the founding titan or yeah, use a founding titan so that way he can change the genetics so like they can't uh I was gonna say reincarnate, so they can't have children. Yeah. So, what the fuck was that? Well, Just so know. they could like uh that was like wild, right? <laughs> yeah, that was wild. I don't know the fuck that was squad all right. <laughs> um yeah, so that way they I'm can sorry. like they they can't bear children anymore. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. I mean, I could have done without the forty five minutes leading up to that. <laughs> um, See, that's funny because I, know, I take I, just, I have a um I have a very different did, Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. I just no I'm just saying, like, I mean that just it was kind of I, I don't think we actually like really learned that much. I mean we did learn things, but just wasn't anything that I felt like was uh that warranted a whole episode to itself. Like I don't care about like me personally, I don't care about Zeke's backstory. I think I didn't it's care that much. I think that's fair. Um, at the same time, I also I have a very it's funny because I have a very opposite opinion of of you on this episode. I actually you know in the beginning, like once I finally kind of or in the beginning when you get the first couple of minutes or what happens at the first uh, what happens at the beginning of the episode, um, you kind of like realize it's going to be a very uh, Zeke centric episode or whatever, or at least like a memory Zeke memories of Zeke. Uh, centric episode um i was like okay you know this is this is 
kind of warranted because for the most part zeke's a character that we don't really know much about um we don't really know his backstory and why he did the things that he did we just know that you know one day he was cool with his parents and the next day he was turning his parents in so i thought it was cool to kind of get that information and like see that from uh, behind closed doors um i will say my problem with the episode is the reveal of zeke's plan i don't care for the or the reveal of zeke's plan and the idea that both Aaron and uh, Aaron and Zeke are both okay and in on it, like they both understand like what the actual like what the whole what the whole goal is, and that kind of goes back to what we were talking about before with uh, Aaron and how like how uh, I'm trying to think of how how his his, his shift in his character has is so different. You know, it's so dramatic. Like it's it's so like to go yeah. from like really caring about your friends to all of a sudden being cool with like killing all of your friends or you know saying that you hate you know one of your closest and then you know wanting to just you know obliterate not obliterate but get rid of everybody else. Um, what I don't get is like the whole story of being pregnant. Then like why was it? Because it was a rush. Yeah, that's what I'm. So now it's like man. what's like, the what's the missing puzzle piece to that to that plan because i don't feel i feel like even though they're like in cahoots they're not there's a like underlying plan like i think like i think that um even then aaron was kind of lying yeah like i do think that he did see like what his dad saw yeah but i mean i mean i said it earlier but like that moment at the end of season three yeah when he was talking about like we had you have to save armin and macosta Oh, who is that? Oh, I don't know. And then thinking about what Chris said about uh, season one, episode one, like to you, 20,000 years later, I don't think it was like something that Armin was writing, like how we originally thought. I think it was who the original attack Titan was, like writing that to Aaron. So I think with Historia if... being pregnant, I think, sorry, man, I'm not sure. But I think with Historia being pregnant, I think. Aaron talks to Historia somehow or communicates with her, makes sure she's pregnant. So like that saves her yep. from being like, like doing whatever she has to do to like continue on the Royal blood. So that way Aaron can use Zeke to carry out the plan. So that way Aaron can save everyone. Okay. See, so yeah, I was I thinking, I was like, thinking, I what if I don't, I don't put, I'm sorry for cutting you off again, but I don't, I don't put that much weight on their conversation. I think Aaron is just playing the game. So that way he can accomplish what he wants to accomplish. But go ahead, Mike. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, I mean that that make I mean that would make sense. I mean not make sense, but I mean that would be somewhat expected, not expected of this of this season, in my opinion. Um, with everybody mm -hmm. everybody trying to one up the other person. Um, again, you know everybody else is playing checkers, and you know we're all playing chess. So, um, or other way around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said it before. Mm -hmm. I said it earlier. Um, <laughs> what if I just thought about this? Like, what what if? What if Aaron didn't tell Zeke that Historia is pregnant? Mm -hmm. Historia is now pregnant, which means that we now have another Titan or another uh, person with Eldian with royal blood. She has the kid, and Aaron, the only person that knows about like the kid. Oh, I guess because I guess that wouldn't make sense. I guess Zeke would eventually find out about the kid. Doesn't Elena? Know? They all know about the kid, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Zeke would Zeke would have to know. Like he's around. He, he probably doesn't know right now. But somebody, one of his allies, would let him know. Yeah, he's around. He's around a bunch of soldiers and stuff too. It's like, uh, well, what was his name said? He's like, why are you eavesdropping? So mm -hmm. I feel like Zeke. I mean, he's had to have heard about it. He had to. He has to know that that she's pregnant. There's, yeah. There's no way that like, a, there's no way like that's such a secret that the queen of the islands is pregnant what if in some way shape or form the two you from uh two thousand years ago or whatever is to uh her kid historia's kid Ooh. that's what i that's yeah. and that's that's what i was trying to get at like essentially but there's no you're right there's no way that zeke doesn't know about the kid but what if like historia ends up getting or ends up giving birth because again uh we will we just or the last episode 70 73 um zeke says that they've been in that forest for the last like month or so so i mean we don't know how far when we saw historia we don't know it's how far along yeah she's pregnant as fuck so we don't know how far along in the pregnancy how far along in the pregnancy she is though um so it's possible that maybe within that month she gave birth um and then the, hmm. the kids you know the kids alive or whatever but like maybe maybe aaron is playing you know playing the long game and is trying to like 
do something with Historia's kid and maybe that's you know I don't know I don't know mm. yeah I don't know mm. Quad, what are your overall thoughts episode. for this episode I mean I liked the episode for it being an episode yeah. like you know but not for it being one of the final episodes yeah of like final three right yeah, yeah so, so, last next three. week's the last episode next week is the last episode I don't think next week's the last episode yeah, I think it is, bro. I yeah, thought there well. was three left, and we just watched two. Uh, so yeah, Attack on Titan Season 4. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, so yeah, no. No, next week. No, yeah, next week would be the last one. Yeah. Okay, so next... No, then no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it for an episode. Like, I definitely like it for an episode. Like, I wanted to know why he ended up turning in his parents. Yeah. And it's like, it's things that I wanted to know about Zeke, but it's like, I didn't want to know if this is the last, if this is the last 45 minutes of the entire show. Fair you know enough. what I'm saying? Like, I don't, yeah. like you could have given me this in like five minutes. Yeah, fair enough. Been like, well, no, or at least 10, you know, whatever. But... We gotta do more research, man. I don't. There's no way they're stopping. It. No, dude. I'm. Like, I'm. <laughs> I'm keeping. Like I've been. I. I literally check this. Look for this shit every day. And like, there's no. There's been no announcement about anything. Um. I mean, the only thing that's kind of promising is that. Uh. There's a. Oh no. The, okay, so these are probably actual. Yeah. These are never mind. So that's that's wrong. That's a, a, a actual like video movie release or whatever. Um. Yeah, video, uh, like the the DVD release or whatever. So they have, because they have volume one and volume two. Volume one is supposed to release, episode 60 through 67, supposed to release on uh, May 19th. And then 68 through 75 is July 21st, uh, both of this year. Um, But those are just like, like I said, collections of the episodes or whatever. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, but, uh, I, yeah, this episode, I did, I mean, I did like it, the glasses, whatever, like, it was cute, or whatever, and it had a lot of information that I feel like. Yeah. So, I'm not mad at it, because it would just be, like, questions that I would have had, I would have been thinking about anyway. Yeah. You know, it's like shit that you, like, oh, yeah, I don't really care about this being in the episode, but then it's questions that you ask yourself later on. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, this is putting all, like, like I said, putting all the puzzle pieces together, but. Or just where, at where the episode is placed. In Marley? Uh, no, no, where the episode is placed oh, in general. Oh, yeah, yeah. As, like, as far as like it being. Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it, episode, it being yeah. the second to last episode of the season, it's like, yo, like. And then the. Like the trailer for the next episode, like, it doesn't get me excited about it because I know I'm not getting what I want. And the whole thing of like, I don't even see. I'm thinking my death didn't even happen. Like. Your death no. didn't happen. No. I kind of want. I kind of want to tell y'all now. Like I'm so over this shit. Like I just want to tell you guys. Don't tell me. No, I don't. don't yeah, know. don't don't tell anybody yet. Because like I mean, I won't. I won't. I, so that, I mean, that answers the question that I had. Because right after, right after the episode That's finished, what I was like, "Hey, this oh, this is the movie that ended like such and such." <laughs> <laughs> like, this, well, it was so it was so blatant about it too, man. <laughs> And Chris, uh, Chris what, did what bring up did? one um, one good Big point. Big You was like, oh yeah, this is the movie that ended like blah blah blah. Oh, I said that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you, yeah, you were about to you were about to say the ending of the movie, and I was like, yo, 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 yo she ain't seen it yet. <laughs> and then you're oh, like, damn, oh damn, I thought I thought we all seen it. And I was like, no, we were literally <laughs> just talking about her not seeing the movie before. Yeah, I was tired. I was. <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, what, what did you say, Chris? No, I so said we were me and him. Like I said, we had a conversation about like the the idea of the movie uh, here uh, about a week or so ago. Um, and he brought up because remember that the the Crunchyroll trailer that I sent y'all. Um, it, when you watch the when you watch the trailer, it says uh, season finale. It doesn't say like mm-hmm. series finale. Right. So it is it is possible that like maybe they come back and do a second half of the quote unquote final season. I just if that's the case, I honestly if that's if that's the case, I don't like how this has been marketed. Right. Hyped I, up as fuck. Yeah. And then you're gonna tell me that I gotta wait another or, nine months to see the, the end. Yeah. Like Either I don't know. Like, sorry, ahead. sorry, sorry. No, I was just saying like the trailer that we saw like last year, did it say final se- it said final season. Everything yeah. about Attack on Titan says final season. 
Yeah. And then when they announced the number of when they announced the number of episodes that have been ordered, it was only 16 episodes that have been ordered. So everybody was like, "Oh, they're gonna wrap everything up in 16 16 episodes." And obviously, like the closest we get to it, it's like, the, and we, as we've talked about the last like you know seven weeks watching this show, um, you know, there's no way in hell they're they're gonna be able to wrap up all the information that happens in the show um, in 16 episodes. It's just like where season three ends and season four begins. Like there's just no way there's no way for it. Um, Damn, possibly. Not possible. Yeah, movie oh, doesn't equal season, hundred percent. You said what? what? How do we feel about the euthanization plan? Oh snap! I know Chris is in the chat. What's up, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> what are our, what no, are our thoughts about the good. the euthanization plan? I don't know, man. Like, I feel the same way I felt like um, earlier this season, where it's like for me. Like, I'm so emotionally connected to, like, uh, the Eldians that, mm-hmm. like, I just want them to fuck everybody up. Like, I don't care about, like, them, like, getting rid of their race and stuff like that. Like, I want them to go to Marley and, like, conquer them. Like, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't like it. Well, in your head, so, in, I guess in, in your in your world, what, I mean, what, what, is the, what does the end of the series look like to you? I feel like this is a fun speculation. Like in your perfect I world, if you if you wanted if you could make it how you wanted to make it, at, well, what is your perfect ending? Uh, see, I mean, it, I don't know. Like that's where like that's a good question because like to me, it's like they, Aaron does whatever he has to do to overtake Marley, but I don't think that's a good ending for the show. Yeah, you know, like it's not like like that. Like there has to be something else after that. Um, I just I think what what I think is going to happen is that like. Aaron's going to win in the sense where he's like, something's going to happen to him where he like may die or he may be like incapable of doing something or mm-hmm. he passes off like the attack Titan to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, so that way somebody else can do it just so he can protect his friends. Like, I think Aaron is trying to be the enemy. Like he's sacrificing himself, his name. Um, so that way, like everybody else can like, he's live. trying to unify everybody against him. Yeah, it's like uh, the Watchmen. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you know when the uh, that blue dude—I keep forgetting—Doctor uh, Manhattan. Yeah. The Big old blue yeah, dude. Yeah, Doctor Manhattan, where he's just like he's like, <laughs> yeah, I'll just be the bad guy that like blows up half of the United States, so that way everybody can work together, like come back, can come together, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I think that's what Aaron's trying to do. I think Aaron's just trying to be the catalyst, so that way the world becomes like, unified as opposed to being separate. Yeah, I think that's that's the ending I would like to see. I guess that's the okay. That's that's the way you would like to see it. Yeah, I don't I don't know yeah. if I have a I don't know if I have a perfect ending in mind as far as like. I also want to see Gabby die. That's. that's, that's <laughs> I think everybody wants to see Gabby die. Um, I I don't know if I have a perfect ending as far as um. As far as like you know where I would want this, where I would want the show to go, like even talking about like the the whole like the reveal of the actual plan, or what the idea of the plan is, I just. I just don't like I don't know like I feel I feel weird I feel like this is uh I feel like trying to sacrifice or not sacrifice but but killing everybody or changing everybody now so that way you know you don't have to worry about future generations is kind of a pussy way to go out yeah in my opinion um like I just think it, I think, I, but I don't have like an alternative as far as like what I would want them to do because I mean they have been because like the 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 sheer disgust that Marleyans have for Eldians is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like that shit is wild. How like crazy? Bro, bro, that, 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 it's that was, astronomical. Like sixty years ago. You know what I'm saying? Now. Else? Yeah, no, right now. <laughs> no, no. I mean, like I, I get that, I, whatever. I, but it's. Not as, advert now but yeah yeah you're right Claude. i mean i get I, I understand that but it's it's wild because like it's because like uh, just think about the dude at the beginning at the beginning of this episode where they're standing on top of the tower bro comes in is like oh how you guys doing y'all oh having such a great you know having a great day just looking at getting a nice view blah 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 and then as soon as he sees the little eldian band he's like yo fuck y'all you know what I mean? Y'all dirty. Yeah, like. I would have beat his ass, dude. Bro, oh yeah, oh yeah, facts, facts. Like it's yeah. Yeah, I will... his dad's kind of a pussy, dude. Yeah, he yeah, a little bit. I mean, he would just got murdered. 
No, they could they could have they could threw his ass off in the rain. I would have tossed that old man. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Oh damn, he tripped. No oh, shit! What happened? Oh no, it's a great. They would never believe you guys. No, never, not at all. Yeah, I, I don't like, I don't like you that people. plan either. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> I don't like that plan. I just, I don't like you said. I don't really have an alternative, but it's like, I don't want the end of this show to be. Oh, what if we just like were never born? Wouldn't it be just so much better? Like, yeah, life stupid. would be so much easier if we were never born. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like it's life's like tough. Get a helmet. That- Exactly. It's like the issue we had earlier with this season where they try to make us like be compassionate towards like the Eldian or not the Eldians, Marlins. the Marlins. Mm-hmm. Like I think they're I think they're doing the same thing with this episode where they're just like trying to make us compassionate towards that plan where it's like, no, that's that's horseshit. Like I'm not gonna want them to wipe out the race. The race of the people that you literally made me care about for four fucking or three seasons up until this point. Cause it, like, it no, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna root for that. Yeah, it just really like, goes back to what to what old girl was saying in the like in that in that cabin when she was talking to Gabby and she was just like, "Yo, what does my mom dying have to do with any of this? What does my mom have to do with any of this? Why did like why yeah. did like why did why is this why involved? To, like, why did I have to sit there and watch my mom get eaten alive?" <laughs> like what? And you're so telling me, somebody did. Yeah, you're yeah. telling me the you're telling me the all somebody what somebody did thousands of years ago. And you're telling me the alternative is just for me to never have been born? What kind of bullshit is that? Like, isn't like that, no. Isn't that crazy? That's a wild that's thing so to say, and that's that's the plan they're trying to sell us on. And I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm 100 now for it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm yeah, down for think, it, dude. I don't know if I'm. I don't for think it. Japan knows what happened over here. Because <laughs> 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 I'm mean, focused are not with this. <laughs> But yeah, this, it was funny because this was a very um, coming, especially like watching these two back to back, coming off of such a high of what episode seventy three was, as far as like you know the the craziness that was that episode, uh, and then coming to this one and it being a very like a much more chilled out and slowed down episode, it was like oh, all right, okay, mm-hmm. so let me kind of let me strap in for this, let me strap in for this. Yeah, it's like boring. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit, right? Man, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else happened in this episode. I don't think there's much else. We talked about the plan already. Yeah. Um, talked yeah, about he knows Aaron's... all that stuff about the Titans. Yeah, he knows all that stuff he about the Titans. Inherited that guy. Yeah. The blowing up part. Oh no! Yeah, like, we didn't talk about we didn't talk about watching. the we didn't talk about the biggest the biggest part of this whole episode. We didn't <laughs> we didn't discuss that. <laughs> Quad, you being the biggest fan yeah. the biggest fan. How do you feel? Oh, uh, I mean. <laughs> Listen, I've already told you. <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm watching the stream, so I was like, I'm waiting for you to stop talking, but you already did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of it. But, um, <laughs> so, um, I, I, I'm fine with it. I just, mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with Zeke. I like, I told you. How I kind of know about some characters just because of my death. Yeah. So I know what characters are where up until that point. Okay. So like with Zeke, I, I'm thinking that little piece of meat might have been like his that guy. Yeah. He was like, I hope you're watching it. And then all of a sudden that shit happens and it's an explosion. Like maybe the guy can be like he can come back somewhere in that mouth. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I know. I know Levi's okay because they would not let you. They would not let him do all that shit he did last episode, and then and just die like and die like that. Yeah. So we think it's a. So we think it's a uh, another hoax. We think it's another hoax. I don't think it's a hoax. I think like this shit just kind of <laughs> happened. And they're both all right. Yeah, I think like, they're both all right. But I think he'll get away. I think Zeke will get away. I think it goes. I think there is something to the um what we talked about earlier with the that piece of flesh that was like uh, pulsating or whatever. I, I think like he's. That. I think he's gonna regenerate around that, which is why he probably asked. Which is which makes then makes sense, like why he would ask, like where are my glasses at? Because if his glasses are back, where that piece of that that body is, then he knows that like he knows he wouldn't go anywhere without those glasses. Mm. So I don't know. 
Yeah, we'll fucking find out next year when they're whenever they release the movie. So. <laughs> Nesto is not having it, dog. He's <laughs> not having a good day. Salty. Yeah, salty as a salty. bitch. <laughs> salt in the chat for Nesto. Salt in the chat for <laughs> Nesto. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. This is uh, and then now, now now really thinking about like next week being the last episode. Like it's they got a, they got a lot of ground to cover. That's all I'll say. They got a lot of ground to cover. Um, any closing thoughts? Uh, no, I'm good. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I have two happy, two non happy campers with me right now. Um, <laughs> well, uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, uh, definitely let us know what your guys' thoughts of episode 74, 73, and seventy four are down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. Um, We'll be back next week to do uh, the watch along for our final, the final episode of this season. And hopefully by that time, we somehow get more information about where we're going with the rest of this. Um, the, final episode, the final episode is just like a whole movie. Yeah, I know, just, right? it ends up being like, like we like, start to play and it's like two hours and thirty minutes. Like, <laughs> that would be that would be wild. <laughs> I, I would be very. I'm shocked. so sorry I asked for this. <laughs> We're sitting on this vision till like eight o'clock at night. It's like when is it gonna? When is it gonna be over? <laughs> <laughs> um, but thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, I'll catch you guys uh next time. All right, doses. <laughs>